Hello guys, today I want to quickly show you one new function that was released in Laravel 11.5 recently, but based on that function I want to show you what's inside, which will show you how to sort values in arrays or collections in Laravel. Some of you may not know this. The new function is about sorting the route list routes by multiple conditions, committed by Fred Bradley, so thank you Fred for that. So route list, I will show it to you step by step because some of you may not know what route list is and how it works at all. So imagine a typical Laravel project, in this case I use filament, but it doesn't really matter. If you run PHP Artisan route list, it will list all the routes from your application, including vendor, but you can filter that out. You have admin here, ignition routes and up route from the new Laravel 11 and stuff like that. And you have the method, the URL, the route name, and the middlewares if they are present. In Laravel Docs, you can read more about route list and more of its behaviors, configuration, and additional functionality. But what is not listed in the documentation, at least I haven't found it, is that you can sort by one of those columns, which is method, URI, name, middleware, and others. For example, sort by method. And now we have get head method on top, all the routes, and then post below. So what is available now in Laravel 11.5 is you can add comma and add, for example, method and then name. So the name of the route, this one would be the second condition for the sorting. Or Fred himself showed a different example of domain and URI, which makes probably more sense and more real life scenario. Just in this project, I don't have any domains so I cannot show exactly that example. So yeah, this is about route list. But now what I wanted to show you is what's under the hood. So for every pull request in Laravel, you can actually check the code. And this is the actual code. So inside of the artisan command for route list, there's a function called sort routes, which deals with array of routes. And I have dumped that array and copy pasted into my Tinkerwell. So this is the actual structure of that routes array. I've copied just a few items, not all of them, but you can see the structure. So domain, method, URI, and all the others that I've mentioned before. So I tried to recreate the same situation and copy paste the same code from Laravel 11.5 change. And here I wanted to show you two things. First, in the original version, did you know that Laravel has our helper class for various array operations, like sorting, for example. So there's helpers official documentation page and one of the sections is about arrays and objects. So there's array a lot of functions, you can check them out. They're basically some functionality on top of or instead of default PHP array operations. Personally, in many cases, I prefer PHP native solutions, but in some of those examples, you may find that PHP doesn't have exactly that behavior or is just more convenient to write that in Laravel helper. So that was kind of tip one. There's our sort in Laravel. But now our task is to sort by multiple conditions, multiple columns. And here our sort doesn't work anymore. And also PHP functions. I haven't found any function that would be able to sort to order by multiple columns in such array. So that's why the author Fred turned to collections. So we turn the sort parameter explode that into array and then we pass that array into sort by of collections. So we have array of routes, turn that into collection, sort the result and return back to the array. Because in collections, if we take a look at the official documentation, available methods, we go to sort by and one of the sort by examples is for multiple sorts like this. So in my Tinkerwell, if we sort by method, it would return the result with get head as the first option and post below. But if we also add method comma URI, for example, that would also work in Laravel 11.5, sorting by URI as the second sorting option. So yeah, kind of two in one video presenting route list with parameters and also explaining what is happening under the hood. Would you have done it maybe differently? Do you use collections in a similar way like transforming array into collection, then performing some operation and then turning back into array? Or do you prefer to use as much native PHP functions as possible? It's a personal preference in my opinion and in my experience, but we can discuss in the comments below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.